and Red Rock County has been terrorized by one holdup after another. Myself and my men have been riding day and night, but the bandits have so escaped us. There's only one man who could be so clever, and that's Billy the Kid. He and his gang may be riding your way. Be on your guard. Signed, Sam Packard, Sheriff of Red Rock County. Well, Billy the Kid, what have you got to say to that? I don't reckon as much I can say. Well, I can say it's a dagnab lie. Be quiet. Sir. There ain't no time to be quiet. Sheriff Packard seems certain, but you're guilty. He'll be mighty glad to know that I've got you right here in my office. Hey, you ain't gonna start... Why don't you be quiet and stop interrupting the sheriff? Well, that might be a good idea. And then again, it might not be. Now talk to that groundhog. I told you to be quiet. And I said, ain't no time to be quiet. That never... Tommy, no good. We gotta do something. You're right, we'll do something. <laughs> Fuzzy sure on your side. Yeah, sometimes too much. Well, what do you think I ought to do, Sheriff? Well, that's hard to say right now. It's my duty to answer this letter and say that you're here. You mean I should give myself up? Well, that's one way of settling the matter. But under the circumstances, I don't think it's the best way. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, being my guest for the past month gives you a perfect alibi, Billy. You can clear yourself easily. But in doing so, remember, there are sheriffs in other counties that have old axes to grind. Yes, yeah, some word got around. It sure opened a hornet's nest. Someone's sure doing a good job of impersonating you. I'd certainly like to find out who it is. There's two ways you can clear yourself, Billy. Give yourself up or make the other fellow give himself up. And according to Sheriff Packard, that don't look so easy. I'll take the second. Then you'll be riding toward Red Rock County? Just as soon as I can throw some leather on my horse. Oh, I wish I were riding with you. But it's best you go alone. Here. You might need these. And good luck. Thanks, Sheriff. putting up posters like that. There ought to be a law against something. <laughs> That's good. A law against wanted posters. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm thinking? I have to know. Being out to catch them on recruiters is kind of like being the sheriff, only it's under a whisk of... under a whisk... under a... <laughs> <laughs> Unofficial. That never, if you'd leave me alone, I'd get it out. Knew all the time was under a whisk. I don't know what you said. Speaking of sheriff, looks like we've run across our first clue. Well, I'll be doggone. And right under our snoots.
dirty environment. Sheriff, it ain't healthy sending deputies out alone. Billy the Kid. Sure getting the free publicity in this county. Yeah, I got some respect for the wolf that drags down his own meat. But the coyote that picks the bones never appeal to me none. Looks like we got a good coyote hunting our hands. Come on, let's see if we can pick up that trail. Separate and meet at the hideout tonight. I'll be over at your place later. Is that one of them ornery pole cats? We'll soon find out. Come on. You go in there alone? Am I going to have a gang? Well, it ain't safe. Supposing the whole gang's in there. If the gang need more help outside, now you stay here. Uh, the guy don't like it. Something might happen. I don't know. I followed the man in here who held up and killed the sheriff. You know anything? You a sheriff? No. Should I know anything about killing a sheriff's deputy? I think you should. Well, suppose you tell me why. Because you're one of the bandits? You seem pretty sure. I'm sure than ever now. I might have known you'd show up one of these days. Billy the Kid. Now let me ask one. Just why were you expecting a visit from me? Because of publicity. We must have done a good job. Oh, and the sheriff. Now, wait a minute. Aren't you being a little hasty? The quicker I get you and your gang behind bars, the better I'm going to like it. It's a mighty pretty speech, but I can tell you why it won't work. Talking won't do any good. Come on. I think it will. You see, I've been all around Red Rock County ever since I was a little girl. How's it going to look when Billy the Kid, who the sheriff's looking for right now, Goes riding into town and says that Kate Shelley is the leader of the bandits. Is he going to believe you? Come on, sit down. What's on your mind? Can't you guess why I put the blame for a gunman like you? Yeah. You see, I got big ideas. You see, things are getting pretty hot around here. And for a couple more jobs, I'm going to move the boys up north around the mines. But... Dylan!
nice playmate you've got. You're a hot hand fool. Don't come in. If I do join you, what's my cut? That's what I'd like to know. The well, details can be arranged later. It's okay with me. Well, we'll have a meeting with the rest of the boys tomorrow. I reckon I can make it. The dag magnus mess I received. It's perfect. Perfect? Sure. A gang of bandits terrorizing the county and then blaming it on to you? Then when you do find it, the leader, you find out he's a she male. I mean, she's a he male. <laughs> anyway, you don't do nothing about it. Yeah, you can't go back to Sheriff Connolly and admit that we're licked. Yeah, but we can. Uh, we, uh, you got any ideas? Well, we can start by eliminating a gang. She can't operate alone. Nations are married, you fellas, peaceful citizens. Why, I, I thought you was bandits. Peaceful citizen, eh? I saw you with Billy the Kid. Me with Billy the Kid? <laughs> now I know you're plumb loco. Just loco enough to put you behind the bars. Why? Come on, then. You can't arrest me. I'm a respectable citizen. Why well, have a law on you? That's what I'll do. I'll take you. Just passing through. Well, we don't like strangers in these parts. We'll see what the boss has to say about you. Who is your boss? Never mind. Start walking. Where'd you find this old Prince? He was riding this way, acting kind of suspicious. Nothing, eh? No, just putting a lot of distance between me and the sheriff. Well, it's too bad you got away. Outside, boys, I got a little bit of this fellow. Sit down, I want to have a little talk with you. What's on your mind? Well, I don't think it'd be healthy for you to join up with Kate. Why not? My guess, you might accidentally get hurt. Back in the guess, we spread a lot of colors from Boot Hill. I still say it ain't healthy. I can take care of myself. I'll get rid of you right now. Hold it, Dylan. What's he doing here? 
fist on him, snooping around. How'd you know this was our hideout? I didn't. Your men brought me here. You have a way of arriving unexpectedly, but as long as you're here, let's settle our deal. Okay. Well, before I begin, did you have a partner when you rode into these parts? A partner? Yeah, I just came from town. The sheriff's posse picked up a man. They said it was Billy the Kid. You know anything about it? It's news to me. He didn't ask you a question, Kate. Well? Now listen, get this straight. It's your idea of my joining up with you. Want to call it quits is okay with me. Besides, my cut may be too high. That's just what are you asking? 50%? Well, oh, he's crazy. Maybe not. I'll make a deal with you for 50%. Providing I get 50% of everything you take. Is that too high for you? No. No, oh, I'm glad you agree, because there's a little job coming up. The bank's sending a gold shipment by stage to Hancock. You can take some of the boys, it'll be your first job. How's that sound? Sounds fine. Listen, you. It'll go a lot easier on you if you talk. I told you, I know. Well, we happen to know that you're a pal of Billy the Kid. We saw you working. Now, what is How should I know? Furthermore, I'm a peaceful citizen. You've got no life. Well, oh, I've got no life, huh? Now, what is it? Yes, it's as good as mine. All right, boys. Throw him in the cell. I think he'll change his mind a little later. Hey, hey. You better learn something to get through with me. intends holding up the Hancock stage tonight. See who threw that rock. I know you don't believe what I've been telling you, but well, I'm in this business because I like it. By the looks of things, you've done a pretty good job. You know, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Don't you? I know how you feel. Yeah, we've got the same kind of a score, Dottle. I never settled anything. What do you mean? Just that. Once you start running away, you got to keep running. With you, it's different. You've got a home, you can settle down, make a good life for yourself. <laughs> I can't. And what's the matter with my life? Just the way it is. Nothing. That's the way you want it. Always having the law after you. What ails you? Not a thing. Why? You sound like a tin horn reformer. <laughs> uh, it's just that I envy you your ranch. You know, Fuzzy and me are... Who's he? Oh, just an old fella that always had a hankering to settle down. Never got around to it. Do you need any more information about the state? No. No, I can handle it. Well, you better get going. The boys are waiting at the hideout. All right, I'll get going. Bye. Men, this is our chance to catch Billy the Kid. Remember, he killed Deputy Taylor. When he robs the stakes to Hancock, we're going to be there to give him a warm welcome. Stage is due in five minutes, so come on, let's get going. Well, Curly, stay here and keep an eye on things.
glad to see you. You know, I... Quiet. Was... No time to talk now. Come on. Where'd you hit him with a sledgehammer? You gotta let me tell you what happened. All right, what happened? Somebody threw a rock in here with a note on it. And I heard the sheriff read it. And said Billy the Kid is going to hold up the handcuffed stage tonight. I thought one of those poor cats had tip it off. What poor cat? Quiet. Tell me what's going on. Did you see that gal again? Sure. I joined a gang. Uh, hey, have you gone plumb local? Hey, you can't hold up that stage. Who says I can't? What's this place? An abandoned mine shack I found. It's going to be your home for a while, bud. My home? What are you going to do? Uh, I'll try to get things straightened out. Now, you stay here. I'll bring you some company. Company? What do you mean? You'll find out. attend his necktie party. Get going. And don't get ambitious. Go on.
Hey, what do you got here? Come in. Uh, what's it all about, and who are these fellas? A couple of the girls' gang. Hmm. Maybe I ain't hearing right, and I still know what you're driving at. Never mind that. Let's time up. Get on back there. There's something funny going on around here. Yeah, something mighty funny. Just why did you only take two men? I told him to take more. Shut up. Well, Billy? It's the way I operate. Which proved to be wrong. Which proved to be right. Since somebody tipped off the sheriff. Just how did you know he was tipped off? Yeah, how did you know? That's not hard to guess. When you see the sheriff and his posse following the stage all the way to Hancock. You know, I've had a little experience along this line. Then I suppose Dirk and Tex just disappeared into thin air. Suppose you figure it out, Dylan. I'm traveling. Traveling? Sure. You did all right without me. I was doing all right without you. Let's call it quit. Sure. That's a good idea. Now, wait a minute. I'm boss around here, and don't any of you forget it. I'm saying who goes and who stays. And you're staying. Okay. If you operate my way. Well, there's a job on the stage. It's one's never been tackled before. The bank in Red Rock City. Yeah, Kate. The bank. I hear you've had a lot of experience with those bank jobs. Only this time we'll work together. Is that all right with you? Why not? Uh, that ought to do it. Billy, do you think you're doing the right thing? Sure. First time I ever warned the sheriff about anything. That's what I feared of. Warning the sheriff and then riding this galloner again. To me, it don't add up right. Got any better ideas? Yeah, let ditch the whole thing. You weren't talking that way the other day. Well, that was the other day. Probably got a right to change his mind, ain't he? Yeah, forgetting we have to answer the sheriff kindly. When a woman rears her head, that means trouble and plenty of it. <laughs> Sometimes you're worse than women. Now, you keep an eye on our guests. I was back as soon as I delivered this note to Sheriff Packard. Hey, Billy, be extra careful, will you? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Or business? Business. Dylan sent us over to have a little talk with you. Seeing you didn't leave any address, we had a little trouble finding you. Why can't Dylan do his own talking? We're doing it for him. Get in that shack. What's the matter with talking out here? I said in the shack. Get going. Sometimes. <laughs> An attempt will be made to hold up the bank. 
You know, this second warning seems to be on the level. Oh, I, we had that that I know, I know, boys, but listen, we can't afford to take any chances. Well, maybe he's right. I remember it later, you know. More coffee? No, no, I've had plenty. Say, you're a mighty good cook. You're mighty good with those pretty woods, too. I mean it. Best meal I've had in a month. Well, I think I better clean up. We've got to meet the boys. Need any help? Well, suit yourself. Good. I should think you'd miss all this. Miss all what? Mm, your home, your freedom. Privilege of doing what you want, when you want, going where you please. Another lecture? Maybe. I'd think twice before I'd give up what you've got. You said I'm giving up anything. Cards are stacked against you, kid. Yeah? Not the way I look at it. Bank hold-ups are risky business no matter how you look at it. Somebody always gets hurt. I ought to know. Yeah, that's right. You ought to know. And you ought to know that I'm getting sick of your preaching. Vincent Baxter disappeared. How do you know? Well, they haven't showed up since yesterday, and I... Well, never mind. They probably will. It's not like Spence to run out. There's something mighty funny going on. I said never mind. Are the rest of the boys up the hideout? Yeah, but I talked... Well, so, let's get started. We'll crack that bank and crack it good. You ready, Billy? Sure, I'm ready. We'll see you in a minute. then I'm your prisoner. I'm just not taking any chances with you. You don't know it, Kate, but you're doing me a favor. Yeah? Yeah, I told you bank holdups are risky. You know, I think I'm beginning to understand you. You're doing something you'll regret the rest of your life. I know. Now forget about this bank holdup. Give it up. Preaching again, aren't you? No. I just know what I'm talking about. Well, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. Because my man didn't just disappear into thin air. You know, Billy, this is going to be one of your biggest jobs. And I'm going to see that you get all the credit. Y'all ready, boys? All set. Pete, you stay here and keep an eye on it. I'm right inside. Fight with me. Hey, hey, when I get my trigger finger loose enough. Why, you want to be bandits. Hey, you're not a tenderfoot. When it comes to first class bandits, like me, I remember the time the governor sent out a whole wreck to track me down. Right, and we'll be in town. Any different plans? Well, there's just one thing. Call out the name of Billy the Kid loud and often. With pleasure. Now, I don't need to tell you men what to do. So get undercover. And remember, stay there till I give you the signal. Come on.
Got a cigarette? Sure. Look like there's anybody around, Spence. Well, I'll take a look inside. Hey, what's keeping you, Spence?
lost him. Stay out and look for him. How do you feel? I know I've been hit by something, but is it bad? Not good. I gotta get you to a duck. Kind of risky now, isn't it? Risky? Sure, it's risky. Why didn't you say I told you so? Why don't you start your preaching again? A little late for that. I've got to get you to town right away. <laughs> what then? What then? There's no reason to answer that. You know what then. You told me that once you start running away, you got to keep from me. Okay, this is okay. I want to talk. You were right about that. I... But I like it, see? <laughs> sure, sure, I know. But I'm through yet. Don't think I don't know what you've been doing. You tipped off the sheriff. You're right about that, Kate. I've been hoping to meet up with you, Billy the Kid. Drop that gun. Hold on, Dylan. You're through giving orders, Kate. This time I'm taking care of this double crosser. Dylan. You're making a mistake. Kate's hurt bad. She needs a doctor. I've been waiting for this chance since the first day we met. Listen to me. Shut up, Kate. I don't think we need this around anymore. I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we should be, boy. Thanks very much. If I hadn't been for Sheriff Conley here, I don't think I'd have come near your county. <laughs> well, I'll admit we were running for you plenty. We'd better be getting along, Billy. We got a long ride ahead. Yeah. Well, so long, Sam. Yeah, goodbye, Dave. Uh, when you get tired of uh, this and old Dave here, come around and see me for about two weeks. <laughs> we almost did. <laughs> <laughs> we, hey! What about that friend of yours in the jail break? Pleasure. I'll be back with you in a minute, Sheriff. Sure. 